In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use Adobe Photoshop with Denoise AI. Now, before we begin, let's take a look at why we would want to use Denoise AI in this photo, because at first glance, it looks like it's fine. But if we select our zoom tool and then zoom in, as we get tighter, we start to see some luminance and color noise affecting the photo that you probably wouldn't notice when zoomed out. That's why it's always important to zoom in and inspect your photos to see if there are any improvements that could be made here. As I pan around, I can see a lot of noise, especially in the blue sky background, as well as noise taking away from the detail of these fine edges on the wings. So let's use Denoise AI to improve this photo. The first thing I'll want to do is rename the background photo just to help me identify what layers I'm working with. To do that, I'll double click on the layer and I'm gonna just rename this to original and then click okay. Now I wanna have a separate layer to see the impact that Denoise AI has on my photo. So I'm gonna right click on that original layer and then go to duplicate layer and I'm gonna rename this one to Denoise AI to make it easier to identify. Now we're ready to send this layer to Denoise AI. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to the filter menu item, go down to Topaz Labs, and then select Topaz Denoise AI. In Denoise AI, you have access to four different AI models, which are standard, clear, low light, and severe noise. And one of the easiest ways to see the effect of each of these models is to change your view from the single view to the comparison view. I'm gonna type in 300% to zoom in, and I'm gonna position the reticle over the bird's face. If you wanna change which AI model appears in a quadrant, just select that quadrant. So in this case, I selected low light in the bottom right, and I'm gonna change that to severe noise just to see the effect of that one. Now between these, I like clear the most, so I'm gonna select it and then change my view to side-by-side -side view. I'm also gonna zoom in to 400% to get an even closer view of the changes. And you can see right away just how much of an improvement uh, there is in terms of removing noise as well as restoring sharpness around the eyes. And if we move the zoom box down here, you can also see with these little water droplets how much more detail is recovered. Now let's go ahead and change our view to single view. Let's zoom out to 200% and bring our focus up back to the bird's face. And if we click on the image, you can see the original and just how little sharpness there actually is and how much noise there is, and then how much cleaner it is when we run it through Denoise AI. Now that we're happy with our changes, we can click apply to return back to Adobe Photoshop. And now that we're back in Adobe Photoshop, we can go ahead, zoom in again, and we can toggle the Denoise AI layer to see the original and the improvements made with Denoise AI. And that's how you can use Denoise AI to intelligently remove noise from your photos using Adobe Photoshop. Thanks a lot.